As you solve problems, communicate clearly and concisely about what you're doing and the progress you're making. Start by developing a statement of the problem. A problem statement is a clear, concise description of the problem and the effect you expect from the solution. Its purpose is to describe a single problem objectively, not to find a cause, assign blame, or define the solution. Include the problem statement in your proposals, progress reports, and discussions with stakeholders. Let's take a look at the essential elements of developing good problem statements. First, frame the problem for your audience by starting with a brief description of the ideal situation. A problem represents a deviation from the norm. By describing the described state, you'll help others understand the current situation. Use terms and comparisons that your audience considers important. Number two, contrast the ideal situation with the current state. Identify the condition that is preventing the goal, outcome, or state from being achieved. Number three, let your audience know where the problem is manifesting itself. Describe the symptoms of the problem that others can see or detect so that they understand the problem you're working on. Number four, stakeholders and other interested people will try to assess how significant the problem is. To help them understand this, provide information about the size and scope of the matter. Number six, use specific detail to describe how the problem affects your audience and the organization. Identify any direct and indirect costs associated with the problem. Emphasize the benefits of your work by outlining the consequences of the solution. Finally, number six, your problem statement is likely to be a work in progress. If you're still collecting data, interviewing effective parties, or developing alternative solutions, let your audience know. Your understanding of the problem may change as new information becomes available. Now let's take a look at the do's and don'ts of developing problem statements. First, regarding your purpose, describe a single problem. Don't address more than one problem at a time. Second, your audience. Provide a problem statement to decision makers, but don't give the problem statement to everyone. And finally, content. Describe the condition that presents the ideal situation, but don't offer opinions about possible consequences. Take a look at the rest of these do's and don'ts of developing good problem statements as you look to develop your problem statement.